All right, Chicago Bull fans. I haven't been able to say this in a long time, but it's actually a good time to watch the Chicago Bulls play. They don't suck. They actually have talent. They actually are fun to watch. They actually can win a game. How nice is that? So, at this point in time, they're 8-3. and three. So, we can see that they've beaten some good competition. They've also lost to some decent competition. But they are coming off back-to-back wins against the Nets and the Mavericks. But tonight, they're on the road. They got to go to Golden State. Then they're going to play back-to-back nights, the Clippers and the Lakers. Then go to Portland. Then to Denver. And then at home, you get the Knicks. In my opinion, we will really know where the Bulls stand after this six games. You got the Warriors, Clippers, Lakers, Trailblazers, Nuggets, and Knicks. Depending on what the Bulls can do in these six games will let me know what kind of contender are they really at this point in time in the season. Obviously, they're going to be better by the end of the year if they're healthy. You look at the team, you have to expect Vooch to be better offensively. You would love to see Lonzo Ball become more aggressive offensively, and you would also love to see him get more assists. You love what you're seeing from DeMar, Zach, Alex, even Derek, Io. And then when you add Kobe White coming off the bench to the team, a little scoring machine, have him coming off the bench with the other bench. That's going to be a bench mob that is dynamic. When Kobe White comes back and he's fully healthy and he's in the flow of the game, I will say that the Bulls will have the best bench in the NBA. It's going to be amazing. The depth is going to be amazing. And it's really a sad shame that Patrick Williams is done because... You know, you add him coming off the bench. That's just even better. So overall, I'm really pleasantly surprised to see DeMar DeRozan play well. That's really good to see. Of course, Zach is doing what I expect him to do. And he's adapting to the new team. So you love to see that. Vooch, he's been struggling really bad offensively. You want to see him find his role, and eventually it's going to fall. He's going to score, and the Bulls will be even that much better. Lonzo Ball, he's got to be more aggressive offensively. Um, You also want to see him get more assists. Alex, what a player. This is the kind of guy you need on your team. Just a real, real good player. For what he does. Um, Derek Jones Jr. has done a few nice things. Um, Io, former Illini great. He's earning more time. And that's always good. And I can see him becoming a starter in the future. Because he's got that work ethic. He's got the belief. And I can see that happening. So I'm so happy for him. And Kobe White. He's hurt, but when he comes back, we can expect him to score off the bench. Patrick Williams, it's a real shame that he's hurt because if you add him back to the bench, this bench might just be the best bench in the NBA when Kobe White comes back. Like, seriously, who's got a better bench than the Bulls when Kobe White is healthy? It's insane. So the Bulls definitely have a good team. But how good? Are they good enough to be a real threat to win the Eastern Conference? 
we're going to find out. But for this stretch of games right here, we're going to find out exactly where the Bulls are at this point in time in the season, early in the season. You go out and you beat Golden State, and then you can beat the Clippers and Lakers in back-to-back nights. You can go to Portland and go to Denver and win, and then you come home and beat the Knicks. You do that, everyone in the NBA is talking about you. You're shooting up in the rankings. They'll be calling you the, you'll be, in, you'll be number one. You'll be the new number one in the basketball rankings. If you, if you can do that, it's possible the Bulls could do it. But we're going to see. We're going to see, though. I'm looking forward to tonight watching the game. Can't wait. Should be a real good one. And the Bulls are fun to watch. They have fun players to watch. They have talented players to watch. They don't suck. It's amazing. It really is. So if you haven't watched the Bulls and you were a Bulls fan or you are, I strongly suggest you to watch them. You won't be bored. You won't be disappointed. They're a good team. So they got a chance. Anyway, that's all I want to talk about. So after this stretch run, we'll see where we're at. But I like what I'm seeing. We're not perfect. We got things to do. But we're way better than we were last year. In the year before that, the year before that, the year before that, and all the years before that. So it's exciting. All right. Catch you next time.